Hi. Gardening's become a huge craze in the United States, Canada, and even the Queen of England planted one, apparently on the uh, urging of Michelle Obama. Now today, she had a whole bunch of kids go to the White House and uh, harvest some of her crop. Um, this is my garden. It's not that good. It poured last night. We got like two and a half inches of rain. We got hail. Some of these tomato plants, they're doing all right. Some of them aren't doing so great. We get a lot of rabbits in here. My cats kill some rabbits. They're not very good at it. They need to kill more. Uh, I need to weed more, which is hard because I have a baby. I wish I could convince a bunch of kids that they were saving the earth by going organic and could come weed my garden for free, but uh, I can't do that. Is local produce safer? Sure, if I get it from here, it can be safer, but there are problems. When it rains like it did last night, two and a half inches, who knows what, where that water was and what it washed into your garden. And when you deal with fresh produce, that's a real issue. Now, this is a raised bed, so it's not much of an issue, but there are lots of low-lying areas around here with farms that supply the local market and even some of the local uh, uh, grocery stores. And I was out running this morning, and I've seen that they were completely flooded, and that water could have been anywhere near a livestock operation. We do have a lot of ca cattle in Kansas, and uh, cow poop on fresh produce isn't a good thing. What do you do with fresh produce? I mean, you can make jam out of this stuff. That's one way to cook the poop out. Um, but if you think it has come into contact with contaminated water, with soil amendments, or even hands that are contaminated, really the only thing you can do is just be aware. Uh, and if you think that it's come into contact, then you need to cook that product or treat it somehow. Local produce is great. I love my stuff but it is not safer than the stuff you get at Walmart or Costco or anywhere else. Either one, you need to apply the same basic principles of microbiology. As Chevy Chase said in Caddyshack, be the ball, you need to be the bug. You need to follow the bug. Is the bug going in through water? Is it going in through my cats or dogs? Is it going in through my hands? Be the bug, take some basic steps, and you can greatly reduce your risk of foodborne illness and enjoy your fresh produce.